A bar member level five question here. Dora and Ron have some money. If Dora gives Ron 157 pounds, they will have the same amount each. If Ron gives Dora 83 pounds, then Dora will have four times as much money as Ron. And we're asked how much money do they each have? Now I'm going to try and approach this as far as I can, as I think a novice might and assume as little knowledge as possible. And I'm just going to start by drawing this scenario here. So we're going to have two bars. We're going to have one for Dora. We're going to have one for Ron. So let's say that this is Ron's bar. Okay. This represents the amount of money that Ron has. Then I'm going to draw a longer bar for Dora. Okay. And what are we told? We are told that if, um, if Dora gives Ron £157, they will have the same amount each. Now, what does Dora have? She has, this is, this bit here is what she has that's more than Ron's. And hopefully you can tell, you can have a look, what, how much would she have to give to Ron so that they have the same amount? Well, this is where it would end up, wouldn't it? Yes. And as you can see, the amount that Dora has more of, okay, that's split into two. This is what she gives and that's given to Ron. So whenever you have a scenario like this, the amount that's given is half of the difference between them. So if this is 157, then this is also 157. So the difference we now know between the amount of money that Dora has and the amount of money that Ron has is 157 times 2, which is 314. Okay, so we now know from this that that's the, the difference between them. And so when you when you draw that a model like that a few times, um, you, you then get to realize that quite quickly and you wouldn't have to draw that. Right. Let's go on to the second bit. So we've dealt with that bit. We're now going to draw another model to look at this. So again, we have Dora and Ron. And it says, if Ron gives Dora 83 pounds, then Dora will have four times as much money as Ron. Okay, I'm just going to draw one unit or one part for Ron. And if Ron has one, then in this scenario, Dora would have four times as much. Okay, obviously these are not to scale. Okay, so that's Dora having four times as much. But what would it take to achieve that? Well, Ron would have to give Dora 83 pounds. Okay, what would that look like? So let's imagine we're going to just, this is just an arbitrary size here. So let's say that that's 83. And this is, so Ron has this. Um, if he took this away, and gave it to Dora, she would have four times the amount, which means she doesn't actually have that. So I need to take that away from this amount um, that, that, that we've given Dora here. Okay, where does that leave us then? Well, what we can do now is draw in what Ron actually has and what Dora actually has. Dora has this amount of money going all the way up to here, not including this 83 pounds. Ron has this amount of money, including the 83 pounds. So this is Ron's money. And this is Dora's money. Okay. What else can we fit in, fill in now? Well, what did we find out from this model? Well, we found out that the difference between Dora's money and Ron's money is 314. So we can try and fill that in. Where is that? Well, this is where Ron's money 
goes, okay, up to here. Right, so all the way from there to there is 314. Now, the reason we like to fill these things in is we are often trying to attribute a value to an equal part or a number of equal parts so we can try to figure out, you know, we can try and put some values in. And this doesn't match up with the equal parts. Wouldn't it have been good, it would have been much better had we been able to include this and all the way up to here. If we could include all of that, then we would have the value of three equal parts. And we can. We can add 83 to 314 to 83, and that will give us the value of these three parts. So let's pick another color just because we can. So 83 plus 314 plus 83, and that gives us 480. So this is 480, and it is the value of three equal parts. So 480, we need to divide that by three, and we get 160. Okay, so what can we do now with that? Well, that means that this is 160. This is 160. So is this. And so is this. Okay. Is this 160? No, 160 is the whole thing here. That's 160. So this is 160 minus 83. So 160 minus 83, that gives us 77. Okay, so it looks like we've got numbers everywhere now. What are our questions is how much money do they each have? Well, what does Dora have? Well, Dora has 160 times 3. Well, we know that already because we um, divided 480 by 3 to get 160. So it's 480 plus 77. Um, so 480 plus 77. And that gives us 557. 557. And what about Ron's money? Well, Ron's money is 180. 60 plus 83 and that gives us 200, 243 and those are your answers. I hope that helps.